Well, how do then, chums? As I, Captain Stephen, today, chums, for you guys out there inside of the viewer verse, I have some news for you, some channel news at that. So when I say I have some news for you, Captain Steve, real life Captain Steve, has some news for you. So let's see if we can dial him up on the old portial and pull him into the verse to give his news on his channel. So here we go. Let's get this lined up and execute Mondo. Heck yes, kaboom! Right, where is he? He should be coming through any second now. Well, how do there, chums, and welcome to my channel news. So, chums, today I just need to give a bit of thanks to everybody that's been watching and subscribing, because I've now hit 19,700 subscribers, so close to the 20k, hoping we do it by Christmas. Keep smashing that subscribe button, and I want to say a massive great big thank you to all those people that are backing my channel for channel membership, I'm now up to like 70 plus members, so thank you, and also through Patreon, and also those that are backing me via... The old super stickers and super chats. So thank you very much. Very kind of you guys out there in the viewer verse. You are the most generous people in the verse. Thank you. So thank you very much for supporting my channel in any way, which way you have. I have had a couple of PayPal payments as well. So thank you very much for all those that threw over something on PayPal. Or if you're buying merch, I've actually got one that says heck yes now. But I've also got another one that says execute a mondo. Some sort of style. So you can pick those over, over on my Teespring page. So thanking you, backers, and people that have been looking after my channel. Now, what's coming to my channel soon, chums? So this is quite interesting. There is a game called Jet the Far Shore, and I've had my bead little eye on it for some time, and I've pre-ordered the game. It's an indie game, and it's sort of got sort of No Man's Sky-esque type vibes to it, but it is not so much of traversing a planet on foot. You're on this sort of like little jet ship, and you sort of have to bounce around the landscapes and scan things and do all sorts of stuff. I'll show you the trailer, and then I'll show you some gameplay. So here comes the trailer. This is Jet the Far Shore, created by Super Brothers and Pine Scented, with a score by Scientific. In Jet, you play as May, one of a unit of aviator scientists who embark on an interstellar trip and alight on a mythic ocean planet where they dream of securing a future for their species. We aspired to create a video game to express our own feelings of awe when we look up at the starry sky. Jet is all about motion, whether it's weaving through trees or jumping over obstacles. I love that sense of speeding through a remarkable natural space under a grand sky and suddenly being in someone's helmet, boots on the ground. Jet's premise involves exploration and discovery. However, our design doesn't rely on combat or resource extraction, and the characters go to some lengths to tread lightly, giving indigenous wildlife a wide berth, striving to adapt and avoid conflict. As a jet scout, you'll inspect living things and employ your jet's tools to figure out what makes them tick. Occasionally, you'll run into trouble and you'll have to use everything at your disposal to emerge unscathed. Over the years, we've contemplated what might be on the minds of interstellar explorers, what might propel them, and what might haunt them. And so our story provides an occasional glimpse into May's dreams, memories, and visions. At heart, Jet is a laid-back and enjoyable exploratory action adventure set within an intriguing new science fiction cosmos. Jet has had a long road. For a few years, there were only three of us. Since then, this vision has been sharpened and bolstered by an all-star squad. We hope you'll embark with us. Well, 
Oh, chums, so this is actual gameplay. Now, I will put the original source of where I got this gameplay from inside of the video description. Now, what I would say is the story itself, or the story arc, seems to be fairly dark. You can see here the reflection of the main character, and there's somebody sitting behind you, and there seems to be dialogues going on in between yourself and the person that's also in the back of your actual ship. But not only that, there seems to be communications with some sort of mothership or some sort of spacey type station that's looking for a new well to spawn life on for this sort of race. So yeah, your planet is dying, and the basic premise is you need to go and find yourself a new planet. So the actual story itself looks kind of captivating. You do kind of want to achieve the goal in the outset to keep these people alive and flourishing. And its backdrop seems to be quite a nice cell shaded sort of look game. So when, you, when I say it's got that sort of No Man's Sky-esque feel to it, it's an indie developer, it's got the cell shaded sort of look, it seems to be quite a relaxing laid back experience rather than a full on frenzy of madness and PvE going on, there doesn't seem to be much of that, it's a case of going around scanning things, interacting with your environment and trying to find ways and means to make this sort of, you know, this civilization flourish upon an alien sort of environment. The sky boxes look quite nice, the environments look fairly nice, the way that you navigate in the ship and hopping about in the ship doesn't look, gameplay wise, to be that satisfying. We'd have to see how it feels with haptic feedback and everything else that gets thrown in with it. But at the moment, watching other people play this, it doesn't look all that captivating for an audience. I don't know how it's going to come across in a live stream. That's one of my major concerns, is how is this going to be for viewers watching me bounce about a planet on a ship? But then again, you could say the same for bouncing about on a rocket pack on a ship, on, on a planet, you know, for No Man's Sky. And people tune in for that. So I guess it depends, doesn't it, really? I'm fairly sure that there's going to be elements of craziness in this. I mean, I have seen some gnarly, in, like in the trailer that you just saw earlier, gnarly sort of planetary fauna and you know, there are enemies that come after you. So there's intrigue and there's a little bit of, a little bit of danger, I suppose. So I'm kind of interested in playing it and bringing it to my live streams. But at the moment, I think I'm going to do like a live first impressions of the game as soon as I get it and as soon as it drops and exactly how I feel about it. The first hour of play, I'm going to do live. Then I think I might do maybe an, a little mini sort of first impressions review. So after I've played it live for about an hour with you guys watching, I'm probably going to carry on playing for about another five hours and then give my sort of first opinions. And then I might play for the rest of the week offline sort of thing in between doing my No Man's Sky content and deliver a full on review of this game so i'm hoping that sounds okay to you guys i don't think i'm going to be doing let's plays on this all the way through from start to finish because it just looks like it's got that let i just want to enjoy enjoy it without having to worry whether my audience is enjoying it if you know what i mean so it's quite difficult because i don't think it's one of those sort of games looking at it that's really going to hold your interest i think you're going to want to see the best bits and i want to deliver that in sort of a pre-recorded sort of format so all the best bits of my playthrough i'll throw it to you in like a massive review towards the end try to add a bit of humor into it eject a little bit of excitement and things and try to sort of bring it to you that way that's if i do get excited about this game i mean at the moment i'm liking some of this stuff up in the top corner that gives you sort of like little wave bars and all sorts of information and stuff we're just going to have to see how it actually plays out as an actual game or is it a sandbox experience is it going to be bug free at launch i mean it is an indie title and we know from previous experiences with indie titles and also games that have launched throughout the couple of years where things kind of look spectacular from sort of the trailers then once you get in it doesn't quite deliver but however looking at this I'm quite liking the atmospherics I mean look at all those storms rolling in and the light effects of the ship this game does look quite beautiful in places it might be one that I might want to deliver in a playthrough I really don't know I'm totally on the fence with this one you guys are going to have to let me know, basically, aren't you, really? In the comments to this video, please give me your thoughts on Jet the Far Shore. Do you want to see me play it all the way through? Or do you like the idea of first impressions, um, then like a, you know, a, a, well, a live sort of first impressions, then my first impressions after playing for like six hours, and then a review? Let me know in the comments what you think would actually work for you guys or do you want to see like a little mini playlist like 10 minute segments all the way through of me playing this because i'll happily do that too just let me know give me some feedback inside of the comments but that's my channel news for september october cheery bye 
Well, there you go, chums. That is one heck of a confused Captain Steve on what to do with Jet the Far Shore. It does look like an interesting sort of game, and I do like the alien worlds that it seems to bring. What do you guys think? Heck yeah. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe, and I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers! And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.